มาเลเซียกำลังเผชิญปัญหาค่าครองชีพที่พุ่งสูงขึ้นเรื่อยๆนะคะรัฐบาลก็พยายามออกมาตรการเพื่อพยุงประชาชนอีกด้านหนึ่งคนมาเลเซียเองก็ต้องปรับตัวไม่น้อยค่ะติดตามในอาเซียนคอนเน็กกับคุณชิวลิปนาคสมภพเราค่ะอาเซียนคอนเน็กวันนี้นะคะเราจะมาพูดคุยกันประเด็นเกี่ยวกับเศรษฐกิจนะคะก็คือเรื่องเกี่ยวกับค่าครองชีพนั่นเองค่ะรัฐบาลของประเทศมาเลเซียนะคะเพิ่งจะออกมาตรการที่คิดว่าน่าจะช่วยเกี่ยวกับค่าครองชีพของประชาชนนะคะเดี๋ยวเราจะไปคุยกับผู้สื่อข่าวจากกรุงกัวลาลัมเปอร์ค่ะตอนนี้คุณแพรอยู่ในสายกับเราแล้วค่ะ How are you I fine uh, it's a bit uh, not To find for me, I think. Okay, is it because of the cost of living that you're about to tell us? Yes, it's about okay. the cost increasing the cost of living in Malaysia. Right. How how is everything? I mean, the, the government just issued this measure because it is the situation is quite bad now, huh? I do. I think in Malaysia and um, whole world is uh, facing the increasing of the cost of living. Right. Malaysia is uh, also uh, has these problems. So to tackle the inflation and the rising cost in uh, cost of living in the country, actually Malaysia government launched a initiative on January called Menu Rama. Mm. Is to encourage the FMB uh, operator to offer a uh, five ringgit um, meals to the people. Right. Actually, the uh, program is aimed to ensure the public, especially those from the lower income groups, can continue to get the in, uh, nutritious. Food at a affordable price, but it's voluntarily, yes. right? By the restaurant or or shops. I mean, if they don't want to make that kind of menu, they don't have to. Yeah, but uh, it's a volunteer's um, basis. But uh, since this uh, inception, uh, actually, it's over twelve uh, thousands of the restaurants and shop, and the fast food chains has introduced their own menu rama. Uh, ah. At the five ringgit and less, yes. But actually, uh, uh, this is introduced uh, on January, right? Uh, now, a uh, few March. weeks, only few weeks. Actually, yes. There's a restaurant owner in uh, Penang has discontinued this menu, and the the restaurant owner says uh, there's a poor public response and the financial losses. So uh, the owner is um, stop. This uh, menu rama. So with this, actually, I, I don't think the uh, government initiative can solve the root problems, which is the salary. It actually is not increase mm. increased uh, in a significant way. I think in Thailand also facing the same problem, right? Right. Actually, uh, we are also uh, having the same problems. The wages uh, level for the most worker is not income uh, enough to cope with the increased cost of livings. The last living wages calculated by the Bank of Malaysia in uh, 2018 estimated a single adult in uh, Kuala Lumpur, which is where I stay, needs uh, 2,700 ringgit to survive. But this is uh, actually based on the 2016 prices. For now, I think the living cost for a single adult needs around 3,000 ringgit and more for mm. a single adult. What's What's more about the families, right? Actually, they need some more and more money to survive. Three thousand right? ringgit is about twenty-four thousand baht. That is higher than minimum yeah. wage for people that graduate with the bachelor degree in Thailand. Uh, actually, Malaysia's uh, graduation rates, I think, is around three thousand ringgit. Mm. Uh, it's more or less same, but actually, uh, the in price is increasing. I give an example in two thousand and twenty-one. Uh, which is the uh, last two years ago, my spending in a normal restaurant, which is without aircon, is just around nine ringgit, mm. including drink. Last year, uh, increasing to uh, eleven ringgit. But now I need to spend uh, around uh, thirteen ringgit to fifteen ringgit for a meal without aircon. It's just like a store uh, in the roadside or something else. Right. But if going to the shopping mall. There will be two twenty twenty ringgit or more. Somehow is a fifty ringgit for a meal. Actually, this is uh, quite hard for me and other uh, middle income groups. According to the the statistics, uh, in Malaysia, 
actually the lower income categories are more and more middle income groups actually is uh, falling into the lower income category. Ah. Another one, uh, some Malaysian uh, after in the pandemic time, they are experiencing the difficulties to coping the rising of the cost of inflation. So uh, they are uh, pleaded to with the government to allow another round of the withdrawals the, from the EPF, which is the pension saving funds. But the, yeah. the pension saving fund is something that's supposed to be for their future when they are retired. Yes. Uh, for your information, most of the member of the uh, EPF below 15, uh, the age of 55, have having an extremely low saving of less than 10,000 ringgit in their accounts. Mm. This is uh, actually is quite low for them to in the future. But I think government should be uh, cure the problems from uh, resolve the problem from the roots actually is uh, to increase the uh, salaries and brings more the investment from other uh, foreign investment so that uh, Malaysians have can uh, be earning more and more right mm. well thank you very much for the story today I see a lot of yeah. resemblance between Malaysia and Thailand thanks for this story have a good Thank weekend. You. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. ค่ะก็เป็นความพยายามของรัฐบาลมาเลเซียนะคะที่จะช่วยปัญหาเรื่องค่าครองชีพนะคะแต่ว่าก็คงต้องหาวิธีใหม่แล้วค่ะเพราะว่าร้านอาหารที่เข้าโครงการก็เริ่มถอนตัวนะคะและนั่นคือทั้งหมดในอาเซียนคอนเนคตวันนี้ค่ะ